Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be talking about the most recent dev post from the developers of Isanzo. Real quick, I should mention that this video is later than usual because I was on vacation, and because of that, it's going to be a bit short. But I still wanted to make this so that people who want to can watch all of these videos in order to gain all of the information. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into things. This dev post talked about five weapons confirmed to be coming to the game, three of which are pistols. The first one is a new pistol, the Beretta 1915. This is a semi-auto pistol that is one of the oldest predecessors to the M9s used by the US Army. The technology was very new at the time, so they were in high demand, and this will probably play somewhat similar to the 1911 or Luger in Verdun, as it's a semi-auto pistol with a 7-8 to eight round magazine depending on the variant. Next up, we have the Vilar Perosa submachine gun. This was originally designed for anti-air, but proved ineffective at the test due to the 9mm round's low stopping power. But that doesn't mean that the weapon was useless to the Italians, as it found a unique role as a high fire rate submachine gun slash light machine gun within the Italian army. Gameplay wise, this will be an interesting one, because although it has a small caliber, it was also relatively heavy and had a bipod. So as shown in our little gameplay clip from the trailer, it's likely going to be used more as an LMG, but we'll have to wait and see how this really ends up playing. Now time for the other two pistols. These are the Gasser and the Bodeo, both of which are revolvers because even though the new technology was in high demand, reliability in manufacturing was a major aspect, and revolvers were still a pretty decent option. The Gasser was the Austro-Hungarian gun, chambered in a unique 11.3 by 36 mm cartridge. It has an 8 round cylinder as well as quite a lot of stopping power but was infamous for its long reload time. So just like the revolvers in the other games, shot pacing will be very important with this. The Bodeo is an Italian revolver chambered in another unique caliber, 10.35 by 22, that has a 6 shot capacity and similarly long reload. With both, you need to load each shot individually via a loading gate mechanism. Both of these seem cool, but will likely fill a similar role gameplay wise, just one will be available for the Italians and one will be available for the Austrians. Now the final small arms weapon to talk about is the machine gun, that being the Fiat Ravelli 1914 HMG. The developers seem to make note of the gun's reliability issues repeatedly, which makes me wonder about the potential for jamming or weapon malfunctions in game. Which personally, I don't think would fit well in most games, but I think would be great in Isanzo, as it would further add to the atmosphere, and could be used as a balancing tool to prevent people from doing large mag dumps with HMGs. Finally, they talked about artillery, and there will be both on and off map artillery pieces, meaning the squad call-in will still exist, although in a somewhat different form. And there will also be player-operated artillery, as teased in the reveal trailer. The last things they talked about were the free weekend, which I didn't get to play because I was on vacation, unfortunately, and another guessing game for an artillery piece. This is an image the developers took on their trip to the battlefield, and I'm fairly confident in it being a Canon de 75 over 27 Modelo 11. I got this from the unique bit on the center of the shield and the short barrel length, but if somebody thinks I'm wrong about this, feel free to let me know in the comments. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail, and I'll catch you all in the next one.